everyone. Hope you're doing well during this holiday season. I'm Patricia Hanbidge, also known as Patty Plant, your horticulturist. And once again, I have my favorite assistant, Little Green Sprout. So today we're going to talk about... Holly! Holly! Yes, yeah, so holly is a traditional plant we see throughout the holiday season. It's very typically uh, seen in florist shops and and even some of your big box stores at Christmas time, quite often you'll see branches of glossy green leaves and beautiful red fruit. So tell me, Sprout, what do you know about holly? Um, hollies have good red berries. They have red berries, yes they do, but did you know that there's actually many different colors of berries that grow on holly plants? No. The green and, and blue, and there's actually a cultivar called canary, and guess what color those berries are? Red? <laughs> Good guess, yellow. <laughs> yellow, like a canary, the bird, right? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, holly is a really interesting plant because it comes in all different sizes and shapes. Um, some are deciduous, some are evergreen. It grows right down from sea level up into high in, in mountainous areas. Um, it is the only living genus in the Aquifoliaceae family. So holly or the genus Ilex is the only genus left in that family. So interesting, isn't it? has lots of history associated with holly. Um, if you're a Christian, you uh, may know the carol, the holly and the ivy, and the holly is referred to as Jesus and the Virgin Mary would be the ivy. Um, it, Druids believed that it kept away evil spirits, so they wore it in their hair. Uh, so it's got a lot of history associated with, um, with it over the years, so that's kind of interesting. From a gardener's perspective, do you think that uh, holly likes to grow in any specific type of area? What do you think? Warm places. Well, warm. It doesn't grow here, does it? Not outside. That's why we have these beautiful plants. Here we've got a, a nice variegated holly. Isn't that beautiful? Spectacular. And this one, as you can see, the nice red berries and nice green glossy leaves. So here, um, holly will not survive outside. You need probably about zone five for holly to be able to live outside. It grows at, uh, like I said, all different elevations. It actually likes to grow in slightly moist areas. So if you are growing holly as a house plant or as a seasonal plant outside, you want to keep it on the moist side. So put it in a larger pot if you, you know, are hesitant about watering often. Um, most of the holly plants or the ilex plants have male and female flowers separately. There are some cultivars that will self-pollinate and produce these red berries, but most will have those flowers on different plants, so they're called dioecious. There's a new word for you. <laughs> we'll learn about the spelling later. So uh, holly's fun to grow. You'll see it in, in bouquets and in florist shops just because of these great red berries. If you happen to live somewhere that's a little... Uh, less severe, so Ontario, British Columbia, you'll see that holly grows everywhere. In fact, it can be quite invasive, so it is one of those plants that uh, can cause some problems in the landscape. So beware if you are living somewhere that doesn't have minus 40 in the winter because sometimes that can cause you some landscape grief. So um, grow it where it's moist. Um, this species is uh, self-fertile, so I don't have to pollinate. But interestingly enough, we we're coming down and decided to talk about holly. And you can see there is, let's see if I can get to it, tiny little yellowish flowers that are coming along that will eventually produce more of these beautiful red berries. <laughs> yeah, so uh, at any rate, I hope that um, all of you are safe and happy 
and enjoying the holiday season and we will be back with more videos while I still have my favorite assistant and some of them will be kind of fun. So looking forward to seeing you again next time. You can catch me once a week on Facebook Live on Orchid Horticulture and any time of the day or night at your convenience on my YouTube channel, Girl. So thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, be happy, and let's, let's get, get growing. growing. See you next time.